guys, what's up? Welcome back to Top Tier Arcade. My name is Steve, and we're not in the apartment. As you can tell, we're in the car. So what we're going to be doing is this is the new series. It's going to be Top Tier on Tour, which is pretty much an on-the-road video, but a little different take. Now, why I'm yelling like an idiot is because I have the windows down, because it sounds a little more exciting when, it, when I'm driving. So, yeah, so we're going to be driving, and we're going to be going on the road and checking out arcades around the Toronto area and then close to my house. So my wife and I always visit this area and we usually go to this place every couple months. Now there's a lot of redemption games and it's known where a lot of kids and parties and all that is taking place. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to check it out. I don't know if I'm allowed to really record, but I'll want to try to be discreet. If there's no detriment, I'm only going to speak highly of it. We have a great time, plus I got some coupons from work. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see, check out the overall arcade and the entertainment center and see what it's like. And uh, we're gonna go in depth in the game as much as I can. Hopefully we don't get caught. I might even talk to security and ask them, but we'll see how things go. So let's get right to it. We're gonna now cut to the inside of the arcade and uh, overall show you what the, uh, what the arcade is called. It's called Pladium. And if you're from the Greater Toronto area, you know it. So let's get right to it. We're gonna check out every game like I just said, and hopefully we don't run into traffic, and we have a little more time to record. We'll see you then. All right, so we're just pulling up. So again, this is called... Then turn right. Okay, so we're just pulling up, like I said. This is called Palladium. Now, it's in Mississauga, which is a little north of Toronto. If you're from the Greater Toronto area, you know where it is. So I'll take a look, Mary, it's here. The kids Your destination is on the left. All right, so then, so Mary, take a take a picture of the whole thing. Oh wow, there's people here already. Hopefully, well, the thing is now, if you guys don't, I mean, you can see it's a really nice day in Toronto. So hopefully, there won't be too many people that bug me or they take up all the machines. I don't know what they're doing, which always always upsets me. All right, so let's park and we'll get. Man, wow, look how busy the mall is already. All right. All right, so we've arrived. So I'll record right when we get to the front so they don't see us, then we'll start recording in. Now, um, by popular demand, there's been a couple of people that asked, hey, Steve, man, I want to see what's in and around Toronto. And I'm like, well, what, what do you mean? He goes, well, you know, about, um, you know, I visit Toronto sometimes. I want to see if I can ever, you know, visit a quick arcade. And, you know, Mississauga, which is, again, if you know the city, is uh, pretty close to the actual airport as well. So, I mean, if you ever land uh, in Toronto or Pearson Airport, it's technically not too far from where we are. Uh, maybe 20 minute most or half an hour drive, depending on traffic. So, you can always get um, here pretty quickly. I mean, it's not a real arcade arcade. Are there a lot of uh, oldies? Absolutely not. A lot of redemption. Um, again, it's very... Uh, family oriented because the mall in front of us is one of the bigger malls in the greater Toronto area and it's popular as you can see all the condos around and all the homes it's a one spot for just like an afternoon uh, kind of get together and again you can see these people here with parties so um, let's go inside let's take a look again um, I'm happy to do it it's kind of good to see the flavor that flavor of the city once available in Toronto um, there are kind of others um, that around here, but this is really the only one that's advertised. Actually, well, while we're driving here, there's an actual now sign that says Palladium Mississauga, and that actually points you as a kind of a um, as a tourist destination. And even in the Toronto handbook, when you ever visit Toronto, Palladium is actually listed as a family kind of entertainment spot. So it is on the map per se, and it's uh, very well known. So let's get inside. Oh, really quick. This was the second one. There used to be one downtown Toronto years ago, but now if you, again, know Toronto or if you ever visit, everything's now a condominium. They're breaking it down, but in condos, because the housing market, uh, as we speak, is doing, it's booming and it's doing very well, which I don't know what's going to happen to that, but um, there was one downtown. It was actually better because it was... Uh, a lot more excitement, a lot of different crowd, but either way. So with that, that's closed. This is the only one available in the greater Toronto area. They call, they say it's in Toronto, technically not, but close enough. So let's get inside, enough of me talking, uh, and let's review Palladium. Hi, let's go. All right, 
so this is the engines of it. Kind of like a spaceship theme. Don't look like you're doing it, but like you're doing it. Feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If any, everybody says anything, just say you're taking pictures or some other riffle. So as you can tell, this is a lot of redemption. Mary, take, take, take a panorama. So as you can tell, this is pretty much the family zone, and this is where a lot of the redemption is. So we're going to be doing the games kind of one by one. I know there's a lot of them. A lot of new ones I haven't seen since last time we've been here six months ago. So they've changed up the games, which is also good. So it keeps it fresh. And uh, yeah, yeah. All right, so let, let's do a whole walk around, and then we'll do an individual one later. So let's just walk around. Oh my god, these kids. I'm gonna try my best to avoid any of those security guys. So I can see there's a lot of redemption games. Oh wow, look at this. I've never seen this before. Kung Fu Panda Dojo, it's almost like a drum hero. That's me. These are so man, these are new, eh? This is the new one. If you guys haven't seen, this is the new Star Wars Battle Pod. Uh, they had them on sale. They're like a hundred grand. So again, this is a hundred. Yeah, they, I want to play this later. And this is uh, Dark Escape. This is the 4D game where it actually, as like it says, it's 3D. It vibrates. It blows air, surround sound, and it's a panic set sensor. So it's actually senses your heart rate. We'll play that later. So let's keep going around. So these are of course the driving games. This one's kind of cool. It's almost like you're in a like in a pinball game and it, like in a typhoon and you're going and it's uh, blasting music at you and of course there's the tank game which it actually moves when you shoot and it's uh, blasting music at you and of course there's the tank game, which it actually moves when you shoot. Wow, there's a lot of new games here. A lot of new games. Guitar Hero. This is sick. The Super Mario DX. Uh, a lot of new games. Yeah, that one's cool. All right, someone's coming. Be cool, be cool. So that's the, that's pretty much the uh, the general arcade. So what we're going to be doing is I'm going to cut away and I'm going to show random footage of maybe every game real quick because I know we just entered it and I'm going to try to be a little incognito because a lot of the security people are walking around and I don't want them to give me shit. So we'll cut away now and we'll go we'll move forward later. All right, here's my wife playing X Men pinball. Which by the way, she uh, last year she broke the record that was in the game and beat, and beat my score and we called over the actual one of the kids and uh, yeah they said that she broke the record which was really cool I can't remember what her score was but she ended up winning three free games and um, just killing it and on this one you actually win tickets it dispenses tickets That's 
see you die. Okay, this game wasn't good at all then. You might get a match. Wait. No? All right, let's go try something else. So here's my wife playing Wizard of Oz. Popular pin. Oh, let me show you guys something. Do you see with that sign where it says purchase me at Palladium store? I'm gonna show you guys later. We're gonna drive past it. And because you can actually buy these games from a retail store. I'll show you guys later. Multiball? a free game which is awesome she's actually better at this than me so that's of course Wizard of Oz gameplay you've seen there's Terminator Salvation and then there's Rising Storm more shooting games that's Batman driving game that's Overtake the Elite Challenge driving game Here's the pinball. So it's a decent pinball. They have Star Trek, the new one, The Wizard of Oz. This is really cool. I mean, they have the sketches. You can do a sketch. It does your face. This one, look how big this is. Indy 500. There's eight players. Wow. All right, she didn't see me. So eight players, and if she did, who cares? And then it actually moves as well. So there's going to be a few people playing. Go ahead. Here we have Iron Man Pinball, the Avengers Pinball, and Rolling Stone. So they're good for pinball. More driving games, Showdown, and Super Bikes 2. They also have four player Pac Man. They have a roller coaster simulator right there. They have some dance dance gimmicks there. And then they have Outrun, but this one actually moves. So those ones actually move. All right, this guy's right there, let me pause. Actually, forget it, keep going. And we have the Pump Pro again, another dance dance game. Again, Guitar Hero. And they have SR3 again, Sega Rally. And a skiing game, Alpine Racer. Dance Dance Revolution 2. Again, we see Mario Kart DX. The uh, tank game. And the Typhoon. We've already covered this. Again, there's the Star Wars pod we'll play later. Fast and Furious driving games. More Redemption games. More Redemption. Barrel of Monkeys. These are kind of like the claw games. More Redemption. This is a laser maze, which is cool. It's more money, but you have to complete a mission and like pretend to be like a spy. X-Men pinball that spits out tickets. This is a hurricane simulator. It just blows like crazy. A big 
Candy Crush. Claw game like normal, more claw games, pop machine. Pink Panther Jewel Heist, which is kind of similar to the uh, Candy Crush. More redemption, more redemption. And that's pretty much the entire thing. Of course, there's the restaurant, and that's where you get all the uh, all the prizes. More redemption, more redemption. So what we'll do is let's go upstairs where the bar area is to check that out. So this is kind of the adult zone where you can have a drink. I haven't really been up here because there's not that many games and I don't come here to drink alcohol so I don't, really don't care. Party rooms, party rooms, and an actual bar and that's more party rooms. So let's go down and see where my wife is. So here we have, once this focuses, Afterburner Climax. This one actually moves, I think, as well, which is kind of cool. This one we have House of the Dead 4. House of the Dead 4. That one's called Paradise Lost. And then there is Time Crisis 3. So, I mean, obviously here we have the uh, candy machines. Let me see the floor. Look at this cool floor. Watch your feet move. It's Pac-Man. It's neat. So it's a Pac-Man floor, kind of broken up with tiles. And where you walk, it's uh, the maze, which is neat. very, very neat. I actually like this. So the whole little maze here is uh, Pac-Man tiles. That's cool. And then here, of course, they have just candy machines. And they have a record your own CD singing booth as well. Now let's check out some of the other redemption. So this is just a redemption game, obviously 21. I doubt I'll play that. The cafeteria is called Mega Bites, which is kind of cool. And then these ones are just more redemption games. Which is kind of cool. Pharaoh Treasure, more redemption. Same thing. And then these are the... Uh, these are more redemption games here. Drop the Clown. These are the Ski Ball. Ski Ball here, I mean. Drop the Clown. They have the football throwing game and then they have, of course, basketball. The basketball game is kind of cool. This one's the roll to win. Again, more redemption games, Coke machine. This is where you put your actual tickets and they print out a receipt and you go to the actual store and uh, redeem your prize. Again, more redemption games. More redemption games. Again, all redemption games, these type of ones here. All redemption. This is kind of cool. This is an inter interactive game where you step on fish and you get points. More redemption. Of course, foosball. If you're a fan of foosball, the Wheel of Fortune as well. And now it starts. And then, of course, they have uh, the actual hockey. The jungle. This is cool. It's an actual environment, environmental game jungle game. This is the new Jurassic Park, probably encouraging with a new movie, Jurassic Park or Jurassic uh, World. And then that's the Dead Storm Pirates. That's again another um, uh, environmental game. So you shoot, which maybe we'll play later.
This one I've never played to bo before. I'm not sure which one. This one. I think you're like saving. You're like a mech, and you're saving the city. Now these are the only real arcade arcade games. This is Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition. Um, with the actual sit down here, which is cool. And then we have Tekken 6, Bloodline Rebellion, and a sit down. So this is the Monopoly Redemption game, which is our one of our favorites. We get a lot of tokens from this one. Put it upside down. There we go. So obviously you just spin that wheel and then it just pretty much lands on the respective spot and you just choose your uh, your piece to play with. And that's pretty much Monopoly, very straightforward, but you win a lot of tickets with this one. And it's fun too. So you spin it and then it lands on whatever. So this game's called Full Tilt, another redemption game that you have to kind of move the gears in order to get to the the actual prizes. Nice, that's good. So very straightforward redemption game. Again, full tilt. Alright guys, so here's Kung Fu Panda Dojo Mojo. Alright Mary, my wife's gonna play. So I guess it's kind of like a, a touch game. And then you have to hit the, uh, the targets as it plays. And again, Kung Fu Panda Dojo Mojo. Let's do it. Choose a dojo. Yeah. So that's Go. So this is also a redemption game. So that's Kung Fu Panda Dojo Mojo. Okay, so my wife is going to be trying Safari Ranger. So this is a redemption game where you try to uh, catch the best animal or the most prized animal and then you get more tickets. Keep going! Keep going! Now these become so tiring <laughs> that it starts to hurt your arm. Get the elephant, get the elephant! Oh my god, get that lion! Uh, So that's Safari Ranger. Alright guys, what's up? <clears throat> so we've taken an actual uh, snack break. Because the foods in there is uh, not expensive, but I didn't really want to eat pizza, so we just came to the car, went a little shopping. We're eating uh, Dorito's new um, limited time only 3D Evolution bacon cheddar. And they're little too, they look like this. Little, little pieces. They're a pretty good crunch. So, I hope you guys can hear me in the arcade. I don't have a wireless mic. Plus, I didn't want to be really bait. Uh, one kid asked me, because I was recording, he's like, uh, uh, he came over and he goes, you guys okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm just recording my wife play. He didn't say anything, I guess, because he's thinking, okay, we're just having a good time. So, I didn't want to push my luck. He was new. Uh, and... I heard him telling some kids to just ease it up and maybe he was going to be a little strict. So I'm like, let's take a break from in there. I didn't want to be seen recording because we're recording a lot. So again, I hope you guys can hear me okay. I'm sorry if it's a little unstable and fragmented because I know I'm just trying to capture the arcade without impeding on everybody's fun. So we're going to head in back to the arcade after our break. We're going to hit up the batting cages because there's batting cages. Baseball is my favorite sport, my wife and I. 
We're going to hit up the batting cage to see what we can do. And then also, if you want, we're not going to go go-karting, but they also have go-karting available. Especially, it's a pretty nice day. So, we'll head back into the arcade. See what we can do, maybe play a little more pinball, some more redemption games, win some prizes. Hey, we're entering the batting cages. Thank you. Hi, right, we're entering the batting cages. Do you want to go first or me? All right, my wife's going to go first. So we'll cut to that, see what she can do with the batting cages. My favorite part of coming here, almost. Right, so here we're at the... So here we are at the batting cages. Good. Oh, it's a busy day today too. Very busy. A lot of people. Let's go. I'm gonna, I got next. My wife's going to record me. I was actually pretty good when I was a kid, you know. Could have made it big, but you know, politics. It's all politics. All right, I got Nick. Yep, here's Steve-O. Thinking he's hot shit. Session. How do you think you did? It's all politics. I did really good. That's what the Blue Jays should be playing. If you guys are watching, eye on the ball. Let's get it. Let's get that pennant. But they've never hired me. It's all politics. It's all politics. All right, you're up. Let's go. All right, so I mean, the Blue Jays thing is there for a reason. So I was just talking to the guy, and he was saying that um, the Blue Jays don't actually play here. The Blue Jays don't actually play here, but they'd actually, um, they used to um, uh, support and uh, pretty much pay for this. And then apparently the kid was telling me that the Blue Jays never play with uh, artificial throwing. It's actually real guys, because it's more realistic. But he told me that Pompey, the Blue Jay here, uh, and then his younger brother play, and they actually come and actually play here, which is kind of cool. So yeah, I guys, hope you like batting cages. Let's go back into the actual arcade and uh, finish up playing for the day. Let's go. God damn it, my battery's dying. All right, so here's my world. We're going to be playing the Jurassic Park game. All right, let's go. Oh, shit, that's seven? No. Let's go. So this is the brand new game that just came out. Select a level. T-Rex, T-Rex, T-Rex. Shit, this is loud. Where the, Mary, where's my thing? I gave you one. Shoot, shoot, shoot! Just shoot, you're dying! It didn't take. Shit, it didn't take my ticket. Kill it, kill it, kill it! Shoot the barrels, those barrels, they usually blow shit up. Not the girl! Incoming! Get that 
shit! The toilet, the fu- The barrel, get the barrel, blow up that barrel! Ah, shit, it's okay. Grenades. Use your grenades on top. Uh, they're the, the ones where your thumbs are, when the big ones come. Shoot that shit! Oh wow, so this game's hard as hell. All right, let's all right forget All right guys, so this is again the Star Wars uh, Pod you're pretty much flying. I know I can't record too much because Lucas will stop my video So I'm gonna keep it short. So you have a throttle You have a shoot it and it's an actual projector shoot 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 So it's pretty much an interactive shooting game. Here we are in the notorious bad traffic in Toronto we're passing the Palladium store where you can actually buy the games. Where you can actually buy the games and then they actually supply the actual Palladium Entertainment Center with all the games as well. So one day when I go in for parts, because you can buy parts, they have auctions, and you can buy brand new pins and games, you can, um, you can go straight in the warehouse and buy it straight from the showroom floor. So one day when I go to get parts, I'm going to ask them nicely if I can take a quick walkthrough, which will be, kind of be like an offset to the Palladium, what I filmed right now. So we're going to head back to the apartment, I'm going to wrap it up, and then from there I'll give you an insight of the game. Peace. Well guys, there you have it. That was Top Tier on Tour. It's my first on the road video. I was, um, I was excited to do it. We had a great time, my wife and I, from playing the games to Redemption, to Arcades, to, uh, to Batting Cages and everything in between. So I hope I did well. I'm sorry if the camera was a little shaky also. Um, if the focusing was in and out and it was a little fragmented or choppy because I really wanted to get the entire kind of aspect of the arcade and the entertainment center uh, without you know getting in trouble. Now I did talk to some security guys and I asked them that. I said, hey man, I'm, um, you know, I may put this on you know, YouTube with some you know, gameplay and they said we, you, you know, they didn't have a problem with it. Um, but I don't know if they were, they, they were the authority. But either way, you know, if anyone from Pladeen's watching, there's uh, no detriment, there's no disrespect. I love the arcade. My wife and I go usually every few months, uh, kind of just to while out and uh, do our own thing because we have a great time. So, um, you know, again, I had a great time doing it. If there's any feedback you want to please leave me because it's my first time. I've been kind of on the road a little different uh, than maybe what you've seen in other videos and other uh, arcade and video game guys and um, I'm just trying to follow uh, in their footsteps and change it up a little as well. But again, I had a great time. Anyone that wants to visit Palladium, I'm going to pick up the camera now and show their flyer that they gave me um, and kind of review that. And in the description below, I'm going to have all the information if you ever want to visit um, or check out their official website. Uh, and you know I, I encourage you to go it's not like a guys thing it's not only arcade like I said you see a lot of you know there's go-karting there's even mini putt and there's even like wall climbing and there's of course batting cages and redemption you can drink an adult beverage so there's more to it than just kids things you see people bringing dates um, you know there and <clears throat> it's not just kinda like you know nerdy guys like myself trying to just go in there and you know, play arcade. Again, there's, you know, not too many classics at all. They, although they have the four-player Pac-Man competition, but as far as classic arcades, this is not it. Um, there's a few arcade machines, not too many, and especially there are pins. And the good thing is, like I said in the end of the video, this is the Palladium Entertainment Center. The Palladium Store is what supplies all the surrounding um, venues, especially the Palladium uh, Entertainment Center, with arcades and parts uh, and pinballs and whatnot. So I'm going to hopefully be reviewing that in the near future if I need parts because I do have an upcoming game like I've been you know, teasing for now probably four months that I want to build. So that's pretty much Palladium guys. Thanks for checking out Top Tier on Tour or Top Tier Arcade. Um, it's another video series like I said I'm going to progress, check out other people's arcade and around the surrounding area. So um, with that being said Again, leave me feedback, subscribe if you haven't. There's only going to be more coming out, more exciting videos, a diversification of videos from, like I said, special presentation to arcade reviews 
to um, even I have a new video coming out next, which is a new series, and of course this new top tier on tour. So with that being said, let me now take uh, the camera. I'll show you the flyer uh, to promote Palladium. It was a great time, like I said. And if there's anything you need, like always, please let me know. I'm more than happy to help. So I'm going to take the camera and let's check out pretty much Palladium and uh, and what it has to offer. So again, everything's going to be in the description below. And let me just try to focus on. Oh, there we go. So there's Palladium again. It's uh, their tagline is the ultimate place to play. It's great. Um, let me just quickly open this up. So everything. Oh yeah, they have bumper cars as well. Uh, they have a roller coaster. <laughs> I actually did this, but I wasn't allowed to take anything on me, like footage. So it's, there's a roller coaster simulator, which is actually pretty good. Um, again, over to, you can do everything. It says right there. You know, there, I actually saw when we were there, there was a team building exercise. So I did see that. I saw a lot of birthday parties with younger kids. Uh, of course, they have a go kart. Um, Water Wars. I don't know what that is. It's kind of cool. They have a laser maze where you have to kind of. Uh, you know, nimbly try to get through the maze without getting hit in the laser. Food and beverage, you know, there's pizza, there's beer. And then on the back, again, same type of thing, group events. So that's pretty much the description of Playdim. There's the actual uh, information. If you want to check it out. Um, the only part is, is it 20 minutes from downtown Toronto? I would have to disagree with that because with Toronto traffic, and anything else, there's no way you're going to get in here in 20 minutes. But maybe without traffic, maybe, if you maybe had a Lamborghini or something. But, guys, that's pretty much it. It's been a pleasure yet again. Thanks again for checking out Top Tier. I'll see you next video. And if there's anything you need, please take care. And, uh, and let me know. I'm more than happy to help. All the best. Peace.